This video is made possible by our loyal Patreon supporters. Visit patreon.com slash psychytruth. Hi guys, my name is Nadine. I'm a dance instructor and today we are going to be working out our, working on our strength for our splits, okay? So the goal is to get our right and center and left splits. All right, and you also will need a mat for the second part of the video. So as long as you have one handy, that would be great. Okay, so we're gonna start off in our first position. Um, your arms are on ba. Uh, for all of your positions, I do want you to do your natural position. We don't want anything happening where our feet are coming out and our bum is sticking out. We're gonna tuck our hips underneath and rotate from our hips and squeeze that navel underneath, yes? So we're gonna work through our feet first in first position. Here we go. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, demi, five, six, seven, eight. We go one, two, three, four, and a five, six, seven, eight. Do it with me. Here we go. One, two, three, three, five, six, seven, eight. Roll one up, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Tendu, let's go out to second position. So you just want your shoulders square and like you have that beach ball and you open it up. Yes, ready, one, two, same thing. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Roll, two, three, four, and a five, six, seven, eight. So we're just working through those feet. Here we go again. Demi, two, three, and four, and roll through. Roll through. Good. Come down. We're going to warm up in second position. So we're gonna do eight and seven. Don't lock your knees. Six and five and four. Three, two, last one. Elevate. We're gonna hold, 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 hold. And relax. Back to the first. Okay, so we're back here with our arms in first, which means we're just holding, pressing our shoulders down, long neck, tuck your hips. You're gonna rotate from the hips, your knees are out, and your toes are facing the diagonal. Unless you can face all the way, then you can do that as well. Um, so here we go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, we're gonna go all the way down. Four counts down and four counts up. Again, it's like a lunge. And up, you can definitely, if you want, put your hands right on your hips. It also helps if you put one on your lower back. You can feel yourself making sure you tuck those hips and bring them forward, yes? Last one and up. We're going to point our toe out and come back to what I called second position again. Remember our modification, we can put our hands on our hip or our lower back. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna demi up, our heels stay on the ground for our demis. And these are just like squats, but with your toes turned out. So we're gonna go four counts down. One, two, three, and squeeze those inner thighs. You should feel them. Squeeze and hug. Remember, we can be here as well. Last one. Good, time to back to first. Okay, so let's stretch those calves out before we do some of our elevés and relevés, which are just the same things we were doing, but in a more fluid motion, yes? So really push those toes into the ground. You should have all your lines, your ankles to your knee, nice and square. You can bring this leg up. If you are bent like this, that's fine. Just make sure your toes are facing the side and you're gonna pull those toes to the sky. And rock back and forth. Good. And then we're gonna do the other side. So you have that long straight line. Now press those toes. You should feel the floor with your toes. And come up. You can either be straight 
nose to your knee or you can be bent and you're gonna flex that foot and rock back and forth. If you are straight, you should have the nose to the knee flexing up. You should really feel it right in the back of your leg. And rock. Good. Okay, come back up. And we're gonna go through now our elevés and relevés. So we're gonna still be working on those calves. Um, so let's go to our first position. So kiss your heels, kiss them together. And here we go, hands can be on your hips. We're going to, a releve is when you demi-plie, and then you're gonna go up. An eleve, we're going to go up. Your knees stay straight the whole time. So it's like you have duct tape on your knees. You can't move them, you can't bend them, okay? Really focus on your back and making sure that your lower back is not sticking out like this. We wanna tuck it under, right? So we're squeezing those lower ab muscles. We're really rotating through our hips. Okay, so we're going to do eight, eight of each. Yes, eight elevés, eight relevés. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Demi relevé. Two, three, four, Good, six, seven, last one. Okay, so we're gonna spring up to our jumps. We're gonna jump eight times, two. Spring your feet, four and five, six, seven, eight. All right, jump out to second. We're in our squat position with our toes turned out, yes? We're gonna hold that. If you are right here, that's totally fine. This is a great place to be, as long as you have your knees and your hips in line, yes? So we're gonna bounce. And press the shoulders down, always have a long neck. And continue, five, four, three, two, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, bring it in. Your arms, you should be feeling pretty warm right now. From here, we're gonna go back down to that position. Remember, modification, you can be here. I just want your, your toes and your knees in line. We're gonna reach over to the diagonal-ish on your right side. And if you can, I would like you to look down at your knee, get as deep of a plie or bend as much as you can without sticking the, or taking those hips back. And come back up. If you would like to add something a little more difficult, you can come here. Otherwise, just stay right here is great. And other side. If your head is looking front, that's great as well. You can see, obviously, I'm shaking. And come back up. Good. Okay, let's take those feet parallel. Come all the way down, and we're just going to swing. So my hands are right here and I'm just swinging back and forth. Good. All right. So we're gonna do that one more time, that sequence, just to really work through those muscles. Remember, if we are feeling sore or a little tight, always modify, come up a little higher. Yes, you don't have to be all the way down. So here we go. Down here, we're gonna reach over. This is a port de bra and you can look down at your knee and hold, 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 come back to the center. Really squeeze those lower abs. And if you like modify, come all the way up on your toes. If you'd like to be here, that's fine too. And come over. Four, three, two, and back up, good, all right. So I did lay out the mat. Um, we will be doing some floor work into our splits on both sides as well as our center, and then we will finish, yes? Okay, so we are going to come down into our butterfly. So depending on how, I call this the butterfly because it's a butterfly. Um, 
So depending on how flexible we are in those hip flexors, you can either bring your feet closer, which then you'll be able to push those knees down, or you can bring them out a little more and it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Yes, to press those down, it's deeper stretch. Keep your back in line and nice and tall. Keep those toes together and we're gonna lay our head down. All right, and now we are going to rotate our hip. So um, the goal is to get this leg out as straight as possible. Um, however, we don't wanna turn our hips too much, okay? So if this is where you're at, this is where you're at. Um, so come over that hip on the left side and we're gonna reach all the way down. Make sure you press or push the energy out of that, uh, that back leg. So you want it nice and straight. You don't want it just sitting there. Yes. And you're gonna come up and you're going to lay back. If you are right here, that is okay. If you are right here, that is fine as well. If you can go up and come all the way back, that's wonderful too. Good, now switch. So this leg is going to do the same thing right behind you. You wanna get, your goal is to get that pinky toe. Um, the pinky toe on your right leg, you want it to touch the floor is our goal, okay? So you have that nice rotated hip and we're going to hold either up or you can keep your hands down. Good. And this just gets us ready for our splits, nice and warm. And we're gonna reach forward. If you're right here and you can keep those shoulders square, that's wonderful. And now to the splits. So I like to start the splits like this, yes? So this is the perfect way to start them um, because my hips are square to the side. Yes, we're all going to naturally rotate at the very end. If our splits come down and we're right here and we're still square, this is wonderful. If we can get all the way down, we're working on that back leg, the pinky toe on the floor and the front leg pinky toe to the ground as well. And we're going to hold. So if you hold a stretch 30 seconds or more, that actually increases your flexibility. So as often as you can do that. And reach all the way down towards your toe. And we're going to reach back if we just want to keep up or keep your hand here, that's fine as well. Good, and shake it out. All right, so shake out those legs and we are going to flex and point getting rolling through those ankles before we do our center and open up. So the goal is to get always to keep those pinky toes on the ground. So facing towards so you're turned out, yes, from your hips. Um, if you are right here, this is wonderful. You wanna push the energy out of the toes, yes? If you can extend more and keep that turnout, that is great too. So we are going to reach over. Make sure that hip right here or your lower leg does not come off the ground. And other side. Okay, so this is the center split. We are doing it in ballet, so we do wanna maintain our turnout. Um, so we're not letting our feet come forward, yes? So if we're right here, that's great. Can you see? Or you can go all the way over if you can. Hold that, 30 seconds increases our flexibility. We're almost done. Good job, you guys. Three, two, and walk up. All right, shake them in. And let's do the flexing and pointing. And now we are going to our left side. So we're right here in that lunge. 
We're gonna bring that knee down and come to a, it's actually called a jazz split, or you could call it a hip stretch. Make sure your hips are square, your body's tall, long neck. Engaging those lower abdominals. Reach forward. Pressing the energy, pushing it out of your back toe and knee. Come back up. You can extend. And for all of you that are very flexible, go all the way back into your back extension. And switch so your left leg is in front. All right, we're gonna reach forward. Right here is wonderful too. If you can grab here, here, everything takes time. Yeah. And straight. You can go all the way back, it's weird. Extend. All right, let's do our left splits. So we're gonna start on our knees. This is my favorite way to start the splits, just to make sure our hips are square. And at the end, they can turn out. Pinky toes towards the ground. And hold for 30 seconds. So last time, here we go, guys. Good job. If you can put your arms up, if you can modify and maybe you have something at home or someone to lift your front leg up. If you're in a hyperextension, if you're right here, that's wonderful too. Five more seconds, four, three, two, and bring it in. All right, I hope you feel like you got some strength in some of our movements and some stretching in some of our um, working through our toes, um, our jazz split, and um, all of our rotations. Okay, thank you so much for today. I hope you feel great in your right and left splits. Um, make sure we hold those stretches for 30 seconds or longer every time we do them, yes, to increase our flexibility. Thank you, good job today. Many of our subscribers don't see our videos. Make sure that you click the notification bell. And if you haven't already, follow us on social media for tips, tutorials, giveaways, and daily inspiration. Wellness Plus is available on Amazon, which you can stream from your home, on your phone, tablet, or TV. Join Wellness Plus today and get your first seven days free. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts. Start your 14-day free trial today by clicking the link below.